Ivor Brown has been the most controversial figure in Irish mental health for much of his long career, formerly Professor of Psychiatry at UCD. And the introduction to the film makes the point that Ivor Brown has somehow managed to be part of the establishment while still being one of its greatest critics. The trouble with mental hospitals really is they've had very little to do with psychiatry. They've really been in society a place where we put all the people we didn't want. It's as simple and basic as that. And to mark this film, we've been listening in the RT Sound Archives to many of Ivor Brown's broadcasts. Ronnie Lang said, I think, a very important thing there when he was over recently, that he didn't think anyone would get landed in a mental hospital of the old kind if they had one real friend. You can see all the connecting points of a person's life shutting down gradually. But the, the important thing to, to realise, though, is that if an old person can keep those connecting points, and of course this is where I think we could do an awful lot more to, to, to make a context of services that would help out where people live, but if an old person can keep the context and keep therefore the control over their own life, they won't age as quickly. They mm. won't be nearly so likely to deteriorate. So ageing itself, the, the, the whole loss of function of the brain, is related to how far a person is still active in their life. And you see often an amazing change within a few months of a person retiring. Um, yes. You, you'll see them age 10 years sometimes. Sure you've seen it very, yourself. Yes, <coughs> very shortly after. There was a very interesting study done in the States. It was nice because it was so simple. Uh, a woman picked two geriatric nursing homes. We've lost them here with, with old, very old people coming in. And she simply got permission in one of them to have charge of the programme. In the other she left as a typical known nursing home where when the person came in everything was done for them, they were nursed and their life was sort of taken over and of course they'd lost their personal possessions, lost a personal hold on their life. That, that's as is the case in nearly all these yeah. homes, isn't it? Yeah. So she left... So if there was a plant in the room, the nurse came in and watered it and so on. Now, yeah. in the other one, she got the people to actually run the home. So they set up a committee to the run The old it. people themselves? Yeah. And they also worked out their day. They were given a plant to look after. And then she, having set the, that up so they were actively involved in running their lives again, and of course therefore relating, and having set that up, she then just looked at the death rate, the illness rate, and there was enormous statistical difference. I mean, something like half the number dying in the active home where people had control of their lives. Yes. So that, I think that says something very important for all of us. Well, while you feel you might be forgotten by the time that you die, you were a professor of psychiatry and you were very influential. What would you like to feel you had achieved? Because you would have taught a generation of psychiatrists. Well, I'd like to have seen certain changes uh, in psychiatry and medicine generally towards it becoming more human. Now, sadly, I can't. I mean, that's, that's what I spent most of my life trying to move in that direction. But I think, in fact, it's gone the other way, if anything, uh, at the moment, anyway. It probably will change again, but the whole sort of materialistic, mechanistic view of the human being as a machine, because there's been so much progress technologically, has, be, has become in the ascendant. But that will backfire again in time, because human beings are not machines in that sense that you can tinker with. And I think the very tinkering is, has a seeds of its own destruction within it. The body we're in, is like, as I say, literally being in a, having an overcoat or being in a motor car or having a place on a train which you then get out at the appropriate stop. So to attach a lot of importance to your body and to this self that has a name like Ivor Brown is, is, uh, is an illusion. Mm -hmm.